am playing a little bit. I, uh, heading up the mountain here to try out my, my no dog sled <laughs> that I built last year. The, uh, I got it done kind of late in the year last season and I didn't get a lot of time to use it. So I'm going to give that a whirl today and make sure I got all the kinks worked out before I come up here without the truck. I can drive up here for quite a ways, but uh, I'm going to unload it here and then go from there with it. And That way I'm not walking quite as far if something goes wrong. Some of the things I've changed since last year, I added these stabilizer skis because it's pretty tippy. I added a kill off, or a cutoff switch on the handlebars. And my thinking there to pull it this way is if I want to do, I could put a little piece of surgical rubber over the top on a string and tie it to me. If I fall off, it'd turn off. But I'm not too worried about that today. Um, I added a couple of ammo cans for things like tools, extra chain, um, quick links, all that good stuff. And this one, this box I, uh, I put some clips onto, like so, and hinged them with just a couple of buckles, so that way, if I catch, I can put my traps and things in that front sled. If I catch anything, I can open it up and leave it open and throw the animals I catch into this back sled. And uh, I left this string on it in case I need to get off trail. I can undo those buckles and then drag, drag it in with that. Uh, the other thing with it shut, it'll keep the snow out and keep my tools and traps and things reasonably dry. Uh, today I'm bringing up a little chainsaw. There's a, there's a cabin up here I'm going to put a little wood stove into, temporary, just for winter warmth if I do break down. One thing I need to do, and I didn't uh, last year, and I still might, um, these wheels here, These ones on the outside edge of the track, I need another set right here in the middle. I think that's part of the reason why this thing is tippy. With these stabilizer skis though, it, uh, it's, this was an old snowboard that I just cut in half. So it's wide, it's probably a foot, maybe, maybe a little wider than a foot. But um, with those on there, yeah, it's pretty hard to tip it over now. So, anyway, I have a homemade clip that I, I did for uh, my gun scabbard. I'll add that on there. Got a backpack that hooks to this these clips here. And I'll get all that stuff on and then head on up the mountain. Oh, this thing. This was a idea I stole from a friend. I doubt it was his idea. But it's just a kind of a box. No bottom in it. 
this ramp slides underneath here so it makes it pretty slick these cables keep it from falling off the tailgate although this one I need a better clip than that I just broke that one that got them at home I'll just have to add another clip to it makes it nice to unload and load Well, I made it. Found out that it does not do very well in uh, deep, loose powder. This, um, this powder I was sinking in, probably a foot. My uh, stabilizer skis were digging in under the snow too much. I'd take them off, and then it's tippy. But I made it. This is the cabin I was headed for. I'll see what I can do here. Well, it's pretty dark in here, but it looks like you can kind of see that stovepipe. <laughs> <It did, coughs> excuse me, it didn't fit worth a darn. So I'm going to need to bring up some tin snips next time. But uh, it got on there enough to do the trick this time, I think. One of the neat things about uh, YouTube is there's people from all over the world, and you can kind of compare ideas. And Lars from Survival Russia, he told me, or told us, as I watch his videos, about strips of rubber inner tube. And, well, I'll tell you what, they make great fire starters. That little strip like that, that'll burn for probably five or ten minutes, enough to get... Some kind of damp wood going and it really works pretty well. That's starting to go now. One thing neat about this little stove is it's got a the stovepipe comes up to this thing and it jogs over and goes up again. Be a perfect spot for a uh, uh, pot of coffee. It's wet. It's got snow on it. That's what all the what looks like smoke. It's just steam. Well, it's still kind of cold in here. You can see my breath, but it's, the chill is coming off pretty quick, and my beard is starting to thaw out. Still chunks of ice in it, though. All right. Anyway, this will 
give me a spot to come up and warm up a little bit while I'm checking traps and go from there. Well, it's starting to feel pretty good in here now. The I can still see my breath, so it's not really that warm, but compared to outside, it's warm. Now, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Once I get a trail pack down, this will be better. <laughs>